Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to the premiere of Kenshi on the Rim. All right, there's a lot I have to go over, but uh, first things first, I suppose the rules. Um, so, no research. The way we are going to gain technology is a little bit different, and I'll explain when it first happens. And one of the original trio must be alive. If all three original members die, we restart. The goals here are sort of up to the moderators and the subscribers to propose them when they see fit. Uh, leaving a lot of power into your hands as how this series goes. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of a primer here because some of the viewers have never played RimWorld and some of the viewers have never played uh, Kenshi. But uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and explain. I'm going to have to load up the world here. So we are on Trio Town, and the faction is called Trio. Um, we are surrounded by different factions here. Some of them you Kenshi players will recognize, like the Iron Hive from Birth of the Hive series, or Nucralia, or Cactus Den, Scrap House, uh, Black Desert City, Shrieking Forest, Hungry Bandit Camps, and so on and so forth. Um... In the world of Kenshi, there's a lot of factions that are vying for control. Uh, the primary ones would be, I guess, the Shek and the uh, United Cities and the Holy Nation, and they all exist as factions somewhere out here. The characters that we have, Ruka is a character from the Kenshi world. She is a Shek. Shek, um, I guess you can think of them as like Turians from Mass Effect. They're big, they're tough, they have horns, uh, they're a little bit slower. And here is her stats. She's a female Shek Caravan Leader. Um, yes, and she has a nice array of stats. Uh, then there's Beep. Oh, how to even explain Beep? I don't even know. Beep is something called a Hiver. Uh, they're supposed to be sort of insect hive-minded, but he has a mind of his own. And instead of being a little worker drone, like he was instructed to be, uh, he wants to be the world's greatest swordsman, and he says beep a lot, and as a result, he was thrown out of his hive and became sort of stateless. Uh, so Hive here is a male worker drone. He doesn't really start off with a lot of stats. He's transhumanist, uh, brawler, and nimble. I think that's probably most appropriate for a hiver. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is I did mod this game a little bit myself, so... Uh, he has a what is called a deep bond with Agnew. Um, in the game of Kenshi, Beep and Agnew have quite literally unspeakable bond because Agnew is actually mute and kind of only grumbles and roars and makes machine noises. Um, yes, they do have a deep bond of 3,000, uh, another reference that some of you might get. Um, yeah, and... Uh, let's see, I didn't go over the traits of Ruka. She's a fast learner, jogger, and industrious. And then there's, of course, Agnew. Now, Agnew is a robot that is uh, sort of tortured and captured and kept in captivity for maybe a full millennia. It's not even really all that clear how long she spent in captivity. Um, and as a result, she is a little mentally disturbed or broken, in a way. Um... So if you look at her health here, uh, huh, interestingly enough, uh, hold on, I gotta fix one thing real quick, add head if, mute, she's supposed to be mute, and I obviously disabled that, okay, so I programmed in something called mute, which doesn't allow them to talk, it does allow them to have social interactions, um, but yes, so she is mute, and they don't eat, and uh, they're a lot tougher than um, the other species. Uh, unlike Kenshi, they do sleep in RimWorld. I think if they didn't sleep in RimWorld, that would be a bit of an unfair advantage. So we're starting off. We have this beautiful world. Uh, this was randomly generated. I didn't even roll too much for it, but it is quite advantageous, as you can see. Uh, and then the surrounding territories here... Uh, we've got some Border Zone Shinobi Thieves close by, and we've got the Iron Hive. Now, this series does have more faction interactions, which should uh, greatly increase the amount of options we have with neighbors and the like. And, of course, uh, this is a Twitch Toolkit series, so um, 
what that means is you will be able to directly interact with our people here. So let's get Agnew and Beep with melee weapons. Agnew can be a shooter if I want to, but uh, yeah, we'll start up them off this way. And I tend to like to settle down in areas that are, uh, shall we say, not filthy. So the rough slate here does not get filthy, and we're, we're, that's exactly where we're going to settle down. Now, I know that uh, you all will be voting for the goals. The first sort of... Um, What's called an unofficial goal would be that I would love to have uh, so, sort of faction relations with uh, the Iron Hive. Because the Iron Hive is the Kenshi series I've got going on. And I think it would make a whole lot of sense that uh, we resume faction relations and we become friends with them. If you're wondering if this is going on YouTube, it will. It will have to be delayed a little bit as that is a Twitch rule, but uh, you'll be able to find this on YouTube as well. And this is a, a brand new series. All right, so I'm just gonna, oh, well, let me show you the research here. So this is the research I have. I've got uh, complex furniture, passive cooler, stone cutting, complex clothing, electricity, air conditioning, and nutrient paste. Uh, that's pretty much what you start off with if you're just a standard colony. And um, we, as you can see here, cannot make research benches. Uh, Wazi, thanks for the sub. Um, so this series has a lot of mods. Uh, one of them I'm sure you can hear in the background here. Uh, we don't have standard RimWorld music playing. It is, in fact, Kenshi music by design, obviously. Another one of the mods is that we can't actually research anything. We gain research by killing enemies, and they have a small chance to drop things called blueprints. And the blueprints are related to their tech level. So if we kill tribals, we they might drop Neolithic blueprints, which could unlock Neolithic tech like Psychoid Brewing or Tree Sewing. And uh, the more high-tech enemies we kill, uh, the sort of better loot that we get. I don't think I have a minimum buy right now, but uh, Fang Face, thanks for the beer. I'm going to have to fix that. It's supposed to be, I think, a 500 minimum buy. Just because um, it can get spammy. Minimum, oh, wow, yeah, it's really low. This is, of course, a whole new, essentially a whole new installation for me because the Twitch Toolkit requires uh, quite a lot of... Um, settings to be maintained. Now if you're wondering, uh, unlike the past streams, I have Nightbot to do the pawn uh, assignments for me, which is great, so that you won't have to guess 1 to 30 or whatever it was doing. Um, and that will be definitely a lot more helpful uh, when I do have people added. So the idea here is if you are a subscriber, um, anytime that there's a chance for me to assign a pawn to, you know, a new character, obviously these original three will stay, uh, I guess, sort of my characters, but when there is room to assign characters, I will assign them to you guys, um, given luck. Arctic, thanks for the sub. So colonists needs names? No, they don't. I might, however, just assign these to the uh, either myself or the moderators so I don't get the constant colonist needs names uh, prompt. Depends on what moderators are here at the moment. So, Power Music is wondering what Roadworks the event is in the events list. This is from More Faction uh, Interaction. Um, once I have a, a uh, orbital trade beacon, factions can offer me to a quest to build roads on the world map. Um, and on the world map, uh, you know, they'll, they'll tell me what the roads are. So it might be... 
Like, Border Zone proposes a road between me and Border Zone, which allows me to go to the Border Zone more quickly for trade, uh, but it usually costs a whole lot of silver. If you're wondering how you can see the items and prices, everything is on the website. Um, all you got to do is exclamation mark items or events, and or just go straight to the website. All right. Uh, I will start assigning these guys just so that they don't keep prompting me. I will be Agnew, I guess. No, maybe I shouldn't be the silent. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? I signed it to myself. And we still have one left. Is zero here? Beep is indeed a transhumanist. It would not make sense for Beep not to be. Uh, Beep's final form, if I'm to uh, use some other references, is uh, being a transhumanist called Cyber Beep. Uh, it's, you know, how he levels up, I guess. Now what's interesting is, in this mod, these characters, the, the races actually do matter. So Rooka, for instance, is much, much, much slower than Beep or Agnew. Um, the designer of the mod uh, saw fit that uh, the Shek would be a lot slower. Tougher, but slower. And then, of course, Beep is a lot more vulnerable. Uh, so one of the challenges I'm going to have initially is to keep Beep protected, because he is um, not a very naturally tough uh, species. Another interesting thing is there will be raids from the Dead Hive and uh, other sort of pirate factions, uh, which should be pretty cool. Now, some of the random human factions, they're going to be using firearms and the like. They're not restricted to um, uh, to low-tier weapons, but uh, the Southern Hive and the Dead Hive and all that, they'll be attacking us uh, sort of Southern Hive style. Did the Reavers come and try to enslave me? Yeah, they, they could, actually. Um, where are the Reavers? Yeah, here they are. Reavers. Here's the Ark. And the Dust King Tower. There's some other Reavers around here. Here's the Red Sabers hideout. I renamed a lot of the points of interest on the world map after uh, Kenshi points of interest. I tried to... Incorporate the two games into one another as much as I could. So right now, um, Ruka has a shirt and pants. Beep just has pants and a gladius. Um, Agnew has blue pants. Yes. Again, another reference there. And uh, a gladius. Looks like, yeah, we're going to start breaking down the buildings up here. Now, I don't have the ability to stone cut, I don't believe. Oh, no, I do. I do have stone cutting. Uh, I think it's just easier to, at least at the start, break down some buildings around us. Uh, one thing that is pretty consistent with the Kenshi universe is Kenshi's full of ruins, as is RimWorld. So I think it's kind of perfect that they, um, you know, that they're both absolutely full of ruins. Now, another thing I probably have to do is the... Let's see... There's some things I should have done beforehand. Karma. Uh, here we go. It should be 120 and 80. So that you don't get too, too penalized. Right now it was set at uh, 10. Which means that if you sent evil things to me, you'd be penalized like uh, nobody's business. And I don't want that. Now on the website, I do say that it's sort of up to you to try to find balance. The idea here is... We'll have sort of a natural progression, but of course, Kenshi is a game that is notoriously unfair. Uh, so if you want me to have that kind of experience, that's good too. I'm totally okay with uh, being dreadfully punished. If you think that is, uh, that's fitting. Now, for everyone that doesn't have the stream coming up naturally, uh, I apologize. It's probably something along the lines of Twitch doesn't care about its affiliates. <laughs> or rather, Twitch prioritizes the partners for things to be rendered. You know, it's just the, the way it is. 
All right, I am going to start planting my first crops. Uh, Beep being... I mean, I'd love to have him be a full-time swordsman, but he is a hybrid drone, and therefore particularly well-suited for drone tasks. Maybe it's not fair to him, but, you know, we... we he does have some, some sort of benefit doing it. Oh, man. Unfortunately, of this group, uh, we don't have any good constructors. They are particularly bad, I would say. <laughs> so they just keep failing. It's kind of funny. Let's see. What kind of wildlife? Uh, mostly emus around. Now, there's a lot of other mods. Um, and I think the full mod list is actually linked on the website. So there's a lot of other mods that are involved in this series. Uh, so if you're curious what the full mod loadout is, I've got pretty much the full mod loadout online, I think. I might have missed one, but I did a pretty thorough check there. So Mr. B and Mrs. Agnew, let's get you growing and mining. Oh, another thing I did was I thought it would be particularly weird if Agnew and Beep ever had a romantic relationship. So part of their deep bond is it's uh, platonic for life. Um, let's hope that uh, you all agree with that sort of designation. I just think it would be really weird that uh, they'd ever be exes. Because they're not supposed to be exes, ever. Uh, so yeah. Platonic for life. The way it sh should be between them. They're sort of uh, battle buddies. Think, um, I don't know, I can't think of a good, a good comparison. Maybe Guts and Judo? That might be the closest that I can think of. Thanks! I don't want to update my windows right now. <laughs> Free minim minimizing. <laughs> Alright. We're going to start mining some steel. That's probably way more steel than I need. And just try to keep these guys productive. Now another thing I want to do is start to set up um, food production. So let's actually put another door in here. So you can go straight into the butchery. Keep that separate so the blood doesn't ruin the room. Uh, cool. thanks for the sub. And then we're going to probably do electric stove rather than field stove. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut a little bit into the slate mountain here. Um, yes, that's what I will do. Hmm. Just trying to think of a layout that works for me. Because I'd like to put my... Hmm. I'd like to put the, the stove uh, sort of embedded in the mountain, so it doesn't take up room. But there's not a really good layout around here to do that with. That's okay. Why is uranium so expensive these days? Uh, it's a particularly strong material. Uh, that's probably why. Some things might need to be rebalanced. That's for sure. I, I'm not saying that uh, it's perfect the next, the first try, but I'm trying to be as balanced as possible so they can't immediately become wealthy due to donations. But also, you know, there's there's sort of the struggle initially of um, of uh, building up. King Zomber asks about boom rats. I believe so. We have some boom lopes out here. So I'm suspecting that uh, boom rats are in order as well. This is, of course, uh, arid. I tried to replicate Kenshi as best as I could. Kenshi does have little bits of green and some swamps and water. But mostly it's pretty shrubland, arid, and the like. So this was my attempt. My best attempt at uh, how arid it would become.
Animals are, for purchase aren't on the list, but uh, I am able to tame them normally. Um, the gifting of animals became somewhat of, um, I guess, spam. <laughs> it's probably a mean thing to say, but basically animal spam, where I was essentially spammed with animals until I had dozens to name. And that's kind of a problem, and that's something I wanted to avoid. Glitch BB sending me a batch of pemmican. I should probably start keep start to keep this stuff inside so it doesn't decay. Luckily, pemmican takes a while to decay, but uh, that is what I will do. I will put a stockpile up here. Now we're growing some cotton. Uh, he's a frustrated transhumanist. I feel you, buddy. I'm going to try to make it right. Um, let's see here. I want a kitchen somehow. Maybe that's a, probably a bad spot for this. Let's put it over there. So this is going to become my kitchen area. Uh, let's see. So this is a big old kitchen. I, I know I have the ability to do cooling. Uh, so I'll add cooling in soon. Uh, some psych IT coming down from Crab. I do like to stress out my pawns. Yeah, I really do. I'm very terrible to them. Uh, so hopefully I won't continue that trend and steal from Dublin art all right what I think first and foremost I really need to do is something to eat on I want to avoid the mental break due to you know due to that that would be a bad mental break um, I know it kind of looks like I started off tribal I haven't really done power just yet, but uh, I'll get to power in a sec. And again, we're going to have a really weird initial base. Now, if we end up with a whole... Oh, Fernal, thanks for the wood. If we end up with a, um, a really large amount of people, I can floor it up and stuff like that. But initially, I'm just going to try to keep it simple. Marble blocks from Elm. Elm the Elephant. Chocolate from Sihoro? Nice. Oh, no. Emu! Get away my... Oh, no. That's just not a way to treat a gift. Alright. Like any true Aussie, I am about to start the Emu War. And they wanted revenge. I won. Unsurprisingly, it was a three on one. It's just a little emu. Uh, but that gives me opportunity to do some doctoring. So let me uh, raise my firefight, doctoring, bed rest, and basic up a bit. Silver coming from Free Dog. And I wasted a little bit of that chocolate, but we salvaged uh, seven tenths of it. Crab asks Will I keep the building separate? Uh, like they are in Kenshi. Uh, yes, probably. And I probably won't have them be... I know this one is kind of a... Let's call this station house size. This is the initial. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing separated. Um... Can I do peace talks if you send one in 90 minutes? I will try. My Roka's social skill is actually not that bad. So... It is quite possible. Alright. I would like, I don't need bed rest right now. You can go mine. Now it depends on who you're trying to have peace talks with, because of course, some of these factions, the Southern Hive, yeah, maybe we can make peace, but Dead Hive, yeah, probably not. All right, Steel Butcher Table, let's toss that in there. And let's start using actual power. 
Uh, I'm going to start with a wood fire generator. And then we'll start teching up uh, a little higher. Simple meals. Have some dust switches. <laughs> Thanks, Wazzy. Nothing like uh, a good old dust switch. This one's made of nothing, actually. It's, it's a standard simple meal that doesn't have a material make. All right, so Beep is farming. Is Karma active? Yes, it is. I do believe it is. So if you've purchased something nice, you should have greater than 100 Karma. All right, so here's the butcher table. Time to butcher up that emu that wanted to fight us. And... I guess I have marble. What is blue? Um, that is oil of Agnew. Agnew's blood is not blood, it's oil. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Another thing I'm going to have to do uh, pretty soon is the proper bedding. Beer coming down from King Zomber. Same she can't get drunk? I think she can, actually. Beep, I don't believe you're the best constructor we've got. Oh, no, actually. No, no, Agnew is. Let's get her to... Uh... Ooh, excellent bed. Look at that. Agno, I didn't realize you uh, had it in you. This awful barrack is now already a, uh, a dull one. It's going up. Oh, okay. The, the construction projects there got continually worse as time went on. But whatever. Jabuja, I'm doing pretty well. Very excited that everyone's turning out for this. Gives me a pretty good shot at a Twitch partner, which would really benefit you guys, um, as you'd be able to select the resolution that you want to watch in, which has really been a problem for some of you. I'm truly apologetic for that. Kind of sucks that uh, affiliates don't get resolutions at all. Some slate blocks coming down. Alright, now, Miss... Oh, she's enjoying some chocolate. Like any good robot would. Do balances transfer for streams? Yes. From s not series to series, but stream to stream? Yes. So if you are uh, watching this next Wednesday when I stream this again, um, your coins will still remain the same. It will not, however, transfer over to Pantheon or Survive the Swarm. All different pools of coins. A little confusing, I know, but... Um, yeah, I, I it, it works out pretty well. Beep tried to rant, romance Rooka. Yeah, he'll do that. He doesn't really truly understand gender. Um, so he might just be flirting with Rooka, not realizing she's even female. Beep is a strange creature, is all I have to say. Uh, what do we want to grow here? Hilbert? Uh, I don't have enough t talent for that. Smoke leaf. I suppose smoke leaf is a bit like hashish and kenshi, um, but that would be a really good way to jumpstart my economy. So why not? And Bane of Radamont, <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Bane because it's weird saying my own name. Just sent me some uh, smoke leaf joints, and Artie Marty sending me uh, the slate blocks with the <laughs> comment beep, just good old beep. I have enough pemmican to keep me for a bit. Oh, Agnew. Uh, let's use these. I probably have to, yeah. I have to do some um, drug assignments. So let's do this right now. Select drugs. All right, I'm going to keep no drugs, which doesn't feed addictions. And then we're going to um, select everyone on no drugs for now. And then I'll set up a drug policy. Um... I guess it pauses the game anyway. 
new policy, um, food drugs. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm not even going to send the rec or mood level. I'm just going to allow them to do those specific drugs if they want to. Hey, Camel Spider. Welcome to the stream. Camel Spider's been instrumental in helping me out in the uh, Kenshi series. Set me up with mods that will make it even possible to have a series. Uh, for instance, the default building that the Hivers have, what does it look like? It kind of looks like a pile of hay, and it functions horribly, and it's really difficult to build in there. And now I have a beautiful selection of different buildings and the like, which is absolutely awesome. This is one weird multi-materialed uh, building here, isn't it? Some ambrosia coming down. I like the uh, the perfect circle quote there from their first album, and everyone's taking part. In fact, uh, everyone's really really happy in this group, which is pretty cool. So Agnew is still mining. I might want to start hunting, but uh, of course, Beep and uh, Agnew are melee only. Ruka says she needs a task. Well, no, she's sleeping now. So what could we have her work on? She could do some art, I suppose. More Ambrosia coming down from Crimean. Thank you. Yeah, I suppose I could do a sculptor table. It's probably not that high on the list, but it would be good trade... Now, if you're wondering about Beak Things, uh, we have stuff that's kind of like Beak Things in this. So here's some Zebra, which obviously are not in Vanilla Rimworld. And uh, there's a chance at Giraffes, which are probably as close to Beak Things as you can get. Beak Thing is probably somewhere between a Warg and a Giraffe, uh, if I was to categorize them like I'm Darwin or something. All right, so Ruka, if you're idle, uh, you are not our crafter, are you? Beep's our crafter, okay. What could you do? You could do shooting. Uh, let's have her hunt. Let's have her level up hunting. So we will hunt things that aren't going to hunt us back. We're going to start hunting just the rats, hares, and iguanas. And that will help her skill up, because she has a short bow. And I really don't want to piss off an entire herd of zebra and get, like, stomped to death. That would be pretty bad. Uh, she just walked by this, and no surprise there, it's an Ancient Danger. If you're unfamiliar with Rimworld, Ancient Dangers are full of terrible terribleness um, most of the time. And here is the first Toy Talker event. Uh, Klein, you probably need some coins for that, don't you? So this is just what kind of event needs to happen. Um, and what I need to do is give our mod here. Oh, you're already modded. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you some coins so that you can, you know, control the events. I can do it midstream. Already done. I actually somehow got good at this whole Twitch toolkit thing. <laughs> good things don't bring uh, blueprints, Crab says. Yeah, he's actually right. I do tech up by murdering things. So, uh, in a way, small raids do benefit me. Ooh, some wake up from Jost. I do like... Man, this, this map generation is amazing. I've got... Two geothermal geysers. I've got a pretty natural choke point, and um, I've got uh, uh, a lot of rich soil. <laughs> Soon I'll be known as the Twitch Toolkit streamer. Yeah. Well, my whole channel is about user interaction and 
uh, the more I have, the happier I am. So, I suppose that's a fair assessment. Um, butchery. So now I'm just going to set up this zone here, preferred for fresh... Oh, I got some ambrosia sprouts you all voted for. Jay sent extra food. Corpses of animals that are not insects. I wonder if, um, hivers... Huh. I wonder if you butcher, hi butcher or hiver... Is it insect meat? Probably should be, but I, I really don't know. I haven't messed with this mod quite enough to know for sure. Oh, the uh, Kenshi soundtrack is great. Let me know if you need me to raise the volume at all. Got that going on in the background. Marazin. <laughs> Sending me pemmican. So I'm trying to wait for Agnew to level up to uh, mining 9 in order to get the components, but I might not really wait that long. Um, why level 9, if you're wondering? At level 9, you get full yield, whereas any lower level than 9, you do not. Actually, let's leave those alone, because that kind of um, unearths bugs. Oh, at level 8, I get 100%? I was pretty sure it was level 9, but you might be right. My memory is not amazing. Barely hear the music. Okay. That was a good song, too. I'll raise that up. Yeah, I'm using a mod that um, prevents all of the Kenshi vanilla music from playing. And plays just the... I mean, uh, all the RimWorld vanilla music. And then I've replaced it with uh, Kenshi music. So, the entire Kenshi soundtrack will play in the background instead. More immersion, right? Okay, Jay says it's 8+. plus. Well, I'm at 6, so I won't get full yield, but I'd really like the wood fire generator and, the, uh, and everything else that I need. I'm impatient. At this point, let's start storing our food here. So I'll make this preferred for raw food. I will put up a temp simple meal and a real simple meal here. And then we're going to have to AC this thing too. Plasteel coming down from potato is unavailable. Alright, soon we'll have that uh, beautiful stove going. I am lacking wood to create things. A little bit. I could cut some, but um, I tend to not like benches that are made out of wood because they burn real good. And burn real good is not real good. We're starting to get uh, things spoiling. I don't like that. Although the stuff we're killing right now is just, um, is just for target practice mostly. And not for any other reason. So, meat. Let's disallow... Oh, yeah. Fogman. Prince meat. Soldier meat. Yeah, they all have different meats here. I'm going to have to be really careful. Because there is a lot of types of meat here that I think would be disturbing to eat. So, let's get rid of the fog meat. Get rid of the hive meat. Human meat. Um, what else would be bad here? Skeleton meat. Shack meat, southern hive meat, oh, <laughs> there's so many different types of meat. You ever have that experience where you say the same word over and over and again, and it sort of like loses its meaning? Um, that's definitely happening to me right now, saying meat over and over. Alright, did I get all of the nasty meats? Insect, right? Uh, there it is. All right, you guys sent me some stuff, so smoke leaf joints from Jamie and components from Glitch. Oh, thanks, Glitch. That's going to be useful. That way I'll be able to actually start constructing stuff. 
Oh, don't friendly fire. Skeletons aren't made out of meat. It's kind of weird. Chocolate from Diddy Master. Thank you. All right, so here we go. We're going to want some cooler action in this... Leveling up. Oh, we got full yield off of that. Now that we have um, some components, I'm going to have Agnew level back up just doing the standard mining so that we don't risk wastage. And Rooka, you are going to start building the things I need to build. I agree, Vimorix. Agnew looks very, very cool. Very robot -y. I like Beep too. Oh! This was probably sent by one of you guys, I imagine. It doesn't accredit you properly, but uh, if one of you sent that, thank you. Because that's definitely, definitely useful. All right, wildlife. Let's uh, leave the hair alone and just focus on the construction. Lavern Cool sending me some uranium. The ship chunks are from Venge, yeah. Kenshi is scattered full of things that look like ship chunks. Uh-oh. That's not good. A little bit of a fail there. Uh, Ruka, how about you... Oh, you're going to be hungry really soon. I don't have them right now on a um, work schedule. Like, they can work and sleep whenever they want. So we're definitely wasting a whole lot of meat. And I'll have that remedied as soon as I can. So soon here, I don't know how much you guys have um, built up coin-wise, but soon here we should probably start seeing uh, added people to the group. Maybe Klein can prompt that if he sees it fit and necessary. Is Zero here too? No. Alright. Alright, Rook is going to the ship chunks and... Oh, Beep is too. Or he's butchering something that she shot. Wow, that is a long run. Marble blocks coming down. Make myself something nice. Alright. I could do that. Nothing like a comfortable marble armchair if it was only possible for Agnew. Hybrids are fast. Yes. Ruka here, not so much. And in fact, I think she... Oh dear. She didn't even haul them all back. Alright, I'm going to have Beep deconstruct the other chunk. I want... Yeah, yeah, consume the pemmican. Alright, let's get these coolers up. And then we can start fueling our wood fire generator. And cooling the base down to... Freezing, uh, which would be good. So uh, I set that to 30. I'm going to set this to like... 26, maybe? All right, Mr. Beep has got the components. So we definitely have some um, steel left over here, but uh, we can haul that sometime later. I should consider a tunnel to the south. Yo, absolutely, I'm planning a tunnel. In fact, this all looks like steel. So not only would a tunnel speed me up, Nat, uh, but I'd get all this steel out of here too. I just need the ability to protect my flanks. I don't want to open up a lot of territory and then not have the ability to protect myself. Alright, looking at my materials here, um, I would say, not that I, I want to fill in the, um, the fertile soil, 
Uh, this is a really bad place for that, too. But I would say double insulating everything would be a probably a good uh, thing to do. So I'm going to start slating up the area. Alright, Klein just started a poll about what the first event should be. So you all can go ahead and vote if you see fit. Here I'm going to start cooking simple meals. And let's hope that I don't use weird meats. In fact, maybe I should go through and... Oh no, it already default turns off a bunch of the nasty meats. Perfect. I don't even have to do it. So that would have been a lot of effort. Alright, we are also going to want a standing lamp. Does Agnew eat? No, she does not. She, um, she has a full food bar that always fills up on its own. She does sleep, though. So that's, I would say, probably the one thing she does that you wouldn't expect. So when we do this, let's cook until we have nine. Let's take it to the temp simple meal. And make sure that we have a cook of four or over. And Beep is, uh, there we go. Happy to do some cooking. How come she doesn't eat? Uh, well, in Kenshi, the skeletons never eat. So she doesn't eat because she's a skeleton. And also, she doesn't have normal body parts uh, that you'd expect. She has, uh, I don't really know how to show you. Oh, here you go. Fluid reprocessors instead of um, kidneys. Fluid pumps instead of lungs, a reactor instead of a brain, neck support instead of dentures, so on and so forth. She's fully robotic. Um, skeletons are, yeah, basically robots, yeah. Sentient robots. Robots with feelings. Like Legion or Wally. -E. Those are two really, really strange examples. <laughs> Can Agnew be resurrected with mech serum? I think so. Again, not fully tested it, but I don't see why not. That I know of that is not a requirement. So I think what I'm going to do is turn this area into sort of a workshop. Um, and then I should probably also work on uh, bedrooms, individual bedrooms, because no one really likes to be uh, in a barracks. How many bugs are out here? One mega spider and a bunch of scarabs? That's not too scary. Let's take a look at the other... Let's see, wildlife. We don't even have any uh, giraffes yet. So there's another group of bugs down there. There's another over here. So there's a not insignificant amount of bugs on this map. Power music. That's a good thing to note there about the ship trunk being too cheap. I can increase the cost... Uh, if you remind me at the end of this stream. Hard to do midstream, but... Alright, marble blocks. Let's go ahead and make a st small statue out of marble. I don't think we have enough marble to do it yet. Oh, no, we do. I take it back. Alright, so the lights are on. How light is it here? 50%? Perfect. I'm going to reinstall that, though, a little bit. Now, we don't have chairs for these either. Uh, I also don't really have any recreation at the moment, so I'm going to start on a chest table. I'm going to make this out of sandstone, because that will take me a while. And then I'll also make the uh, throwing pin as well. My 
constructor probably should be Agnew. I guess the throwing pin quality doesn't really ma matter, but um, everything else does. How much steel does this ship chunk yield? Uh, 60, I think? 30? Or 30, actually. 30 and then components. But also keep in mind, it's not um, not like a delivery that you guys would buy. I have to work to go get it. So there is a little effort involved. Whereas um, when you guys drop items like this, uh, there is no effort. In fact, I bet the... No, the item event is not restricted. Good. Uh, Datter, talking to me about uh, Naked Fogman. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Fogman, um, they're sort of a cannibalistic, crazed hiver that uh, like to eat and abduct people. Fangface sending components and Psychic T. Can robots get addicted? Yeah, I think uh, other than the fact that they're robots, they are basically treated like everyone else. They have feelings, they can get addicted, um, they just don't sleep, and they're very, very tough. So if you take a look here, uh, base armor, sharp and blunt, is 25 and 20%. Um, to put that in perspective with beep, it is 15 and 10%. So Agnew has a, a sort of a much higher armor resistance despite not wearing any additional armor. Refugee Chase is not allowed to be bought. Uh, should be. Refugee chased. Should be available. I don't I don't have it disabled on my side, I'll put it that way. Well that stockpile is filling up fast. I also have to think about um a storehouse and defenses. Oh, there's so much to think about. Oh, Beep's leveling up in construction. I'm thinking he might not need as much sleep as everyone else. It does seem like he's up at um, kind of all hours. Oops, I just clicked off the wrong thing because it popped up. Go Juice from Touchstone Gold. Uh, yeah, I mean, if we get into a battle, absolutely I'm going to make Beep into speedy Go Juice Beep. I think he'd he'd want it that way. Beep's leveling up in plants. Soon I'll be able to uh, start planting heel root, which will be cool. We got our uh, chest stable and our horseshoe pin. All right. I am auto home zoning. Oh, here we go. Next event. Mad animals, foggy rain, which is pretty much what is already happening. Whoa, it is hot out. Or um, muscle parasites. So let's see. Weather-wise, checks are comfortable to 131. That's pretty high. Beep is comfortable to 128. Oh, so these high temperatures are not a problem. Agnu is comfortable into 484 Fahrenheit. So, definitely not an issue. Here's our first harvest. We don't have anyone that can cook um, fine meals, so we're still stuck on simple meals. But uh, at least that's a whole lot of rice to be put towards meals when we need it. Did I set up Nightbot's random number giveaway? I have, yes. So when there are characters to assign, uh, you don't even need to guess numbers or anything. It will just assign them. Which I should have done from the very start. So actually, I'll run a test on that right now. This obviously is a fake one, so apologies to anyone that whoever wins. Alice Hole, you just won nothing, so... Congratulations. It does work. The assignment is to subs, yes. It just picks a random sub, and if that random sub already has a character named after them, 
Uh, I'll re-roll it, and it will just pick a new one. Let's all get us a cyber beep. I hope so. In fact, I'm uh, definitely eager to add in some new characters uh, when the coins allow it. How many coins are is everyone in at, uh, roughly speaking? So, all right, so we do have a mad zebra coming our way. And thanks for the bits, Artie Marty. Mr. Marty. My zombie slaying friend in arms. Oh, okay, we're pretty close to the 2k mark. That kind of opens up a lot of options here. Alright, let's get all hands on deck for this zebra. It's just a zebra, but uh, everybody wants the, the XP for leveling. This zebra... Oh, alright. Well, Ruka says no. <laughs> what was that? She shot it in the brain. Holy moly. I was expecting some sort of fight, but not quite, like, that easy. We do have a ton of sandstone blocks. Um, so it would be possible to get a wall going. Ooh, visitors. Sanguine Rage sending me some visitors, so one of them should be... Oh, look! Cool! They're black desert, uh, skeletons. Long Stoat and T2. Very cool. Actually, no, let's not trace it. I'll just go like this. Maybe a little bit more narrow. Alright, there we go. It's going to be a little bit of a kill box. Not really. I mean, maybe in the future we don't have, you know, turret tech or anything like that, but... In the far future, we might. So you never know. Uh, colonist needs names. Let me see if I can assign you to Rad Twitch Bot. I can. All right, perfect. That message is gone. The minimum minimum purchase is five hundred. Just I think like all the other series. Thanks, Klein, for the uh, five bits. Bot is down, he says. Good. All right, let me uh, reconnect the bot. I think you guys are killing it with the volume of uh, requests. I love it. Keep it coming. What are the challenge for this run? It's sort of up to you guys. Uh, the goals. The challenge is I have to keep all three of the... Well, not all three, but I have to keep at least one of these guys alive at all time um of course there is the possibility of a random revive and stuff like that but yeah that's the sort of long and short of it and then any other goals long-term goals like making the iron hive my allies because here here's the factions that i know we have shinobi thieves united cities hungry bandits shrieking bandits dead hive iron hive western hive southern hive black desert skeletons Shek kingdom dust bandits reavers Red Sabers. Uh, what? Just happened? Oh, interesting. Um, why are they trying to kill me? Hang on. I don't know what just happened, but they, this robot kind of went crazy and tried to stab me. They decided to visit and then decided that murder was on their mind. No, they're not coming to kill me anymore. I'm not even sure just what, what happened. Um, huh. Well, I got all ready for a fight. But they're not fighting? I'm confused. These robots... I don't speak their language. Clearly. Yeah, so... Ruka just punched or headbutted him for seemingly no reason. <laughs> that's, that's all I can. That's all I can tell. 
That's really funny. King Zombra says, let's get Agnew um, smoked up a little bit and see what happens. Sure, we could do that. Stoned on smoke leaf. So, just a lot less productive. I guess the mood effects go up, but that's about it. It does sound appropriate for a Shek greeting. If you're curious about the Shek, they are very warlike. They're sort of like, um... Um... I don't know, they're like wildlings in a way. Um... Or maybe Krogan? Yeah, they're definitely like Krogan. That's what they're like. M Mass Effect Krogan. All they know is war. They split factions constantly. Bot is dead again. Cool. Wow, that was... Usually it lives a little bit longer than that, but... Alright, new record, apparently. I just restarted it, so it should be back up. No, actually, I do want doors there. Sandstone is, is not a particularly tough stone, but that's just the stone we have around. And it looks like I'm going to need to start karate chopping the forest here. There is not a whole lot of wood on uh, arid tiles, so this is not a long-term um, long solution for power generation. I think... I think the bot is back up, but let me know if that's not true. Refugee chase is not possible for some reason. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure why that is. It's probably just some sort of mod incompatibility. Oh, Zero Day, you're here. Howdy, howdy. Alright, there we go. Now they're actually named after stuff. Wow, what is going on with this bot? Just constant state of death. Well, that's all the fuel we had. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to... Um... The trouble is wind turbines are not very reliable. Um... I suppose I could build one anyway. I don't have battery tech, no. That's why I kind of liked the uh, wood fire generator, because it would give me a pretty steady trickle of power. But um, we'll just have to make do with what we've got. Where are you off to? Ah, oh, compacted machinery. And you are level 8 now? Oh, perfect. An anonymous gifter just gave out a tier 1 sub. Thanks, whoever there is to thank. I'm not entirely sure who, but uh, thank you. Tis anonymous, right? All right I'm going to run power around the perimeter of the base here. I also want to get the double insulation going a little bit more than we have. I have the slate, I just haven't built the walls. Raids are killing the bot? Huh. Odd. Let me, uh, let me experiment right here. Send myself, uh... Send myself a raid. Execute raid, 20 point raid. It doesn't seem to be able to do that, huh? No. I can force a raid. So here is Wong, who is a reaver coming in. But yeah, if you've been trying to buy raids and the raids just haven't shown up, maybe it is some sort of incompatibility and I'll have to take a look at that, which would be unfortunate. Some more components from Total Sandwich and wood from Kadath. And then of course we've got this dude who is uh, 
needs facial readjustment surgery. All right, Ruka, do not kill him so quick that there's nothing left to fight. All right, he's dead. That was pretty quick. He was frail. Oh, he was old, wasn't he? He was 63 years old. Frail old dude that got put down pretty quick. Alright, my meat's rotting away because I just don't have the power for it. Yeah, maybe he was like, uh, sort of like Crumble John. Transport pod crash coming from Klein. Whoa, he is right outside of a cave. So he's really unbelievably skilled, a little older, and... Uh, what is he? A space refugee, whatever that means in terms of Kenji, but oh, alright, sure. Uh, yeah, we're, we, we want him. Uh, I have nowhere to put him. Is this? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, Agnew, let's go have you capture him or rescue him. Actually, we could just rescue. He's a spacer, so he will join us anyway. So. Agnew, you're up. Yes, you're up. Let's go rescue. It's going to take a little while. And beer. Coming from Nuno Daniel. Exactly estimated. Sent me beer as well. And chocolate. High quality chocolate must be expensive. Yeah, let's hope. There's not a whole lot of chocolate in the uh, Kenshi universe, so the little that there is must be really good stuff. So if you're wondering about this, he is a staggering, a creepy breather and a psychopath. Uh, Agnew can get to him, it's just a long path. And he's got 14 hours to live, so that's okay. I'm going to have to do something about this body, aren't I? Uh, yeah. For the moment, I don't really have the ability to cremate. I don't really want to want to have to bury them all. But Mary, I'll bury them like tallies, like murder tallies. I got sent a care package of chocolate. Thank you from Zero Day. And Artie, you just resubbed. I could feed them to the bugs. That's entirely possible. A dark thing to do, but entirely possible. Oh, we haven't really... Okay, uh, Ruka, let's go... Oh, you're already tending to him? Don't tend to him with uh, any meds, though. I know, rude, but I'd rather have the meds for myself. Well, he's in a Devil Strand parka. That's some expensive stuff. Thanks, game. I know I need batteries. So useful they are. I don't have battery tech. He is uh, just a human, a spacer. So let's say, given his skills of crafting, I would say he's more of a Scorchlander. Have a good night, Dark Epic Troll. Scorchlanders in Kenshi are, um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the wood fire generator. That was a bad idea. It does not generate power like I needed to. Scorchlanders are, um, particularly skilled at, uh, crafting in Kenshi. Whoa, Damien! Hello! Definitely earning that, uh, most... <laughs> the most gifts. For sure. Hot damn, indeed. Well, now I have a whole lot of additional subs. Some uranium. Oh, 
Yellow uh, means it was worth a lot. So that was a, a big gift there. Takeo here. Uh, all right, let me go run the Nightbot giveaway. Kadath, this is you. God, that is so much easier. If you want them, you could always pass, but... I did make the traits uh, very cheap, um, just an FYI. You always end up with doctors? Actually, this dude is really good at everything. He's an artist, he's a crafter, he's a cook, he's just really everything. Except for, of course, he's got a bum leg and a torso scar. But, you know, other than that. Whaler just sent some Luciferium. Um, let's see, doing the the jobs here so he's gonna be our cook I think at the very least and probably our crafter cook and craft sign curve sending some enjoyable chocolates yes you can remove traits you can add traits small sculpture coming down granite sculpture uh, that was sent from go to the wall cool I like it I'm gonna set it right next to my dining room so that everyone can enjoy it while they eat and play chess by themselves, because there's only one chair. More chocolate from Black Wren. And Kadath is going to need a bow, isn't he? Or some sort of ranged. Yeah, Damien was the one that told me about the Kenshi Rimworld mod. Um, am I ready for peace talks? Yeah, possibly. I could even send... Well, I'd probably send Ruka. She's got the burning passion and all. Alright, we are not drawing enough power from anything. Oh, yeah, thanks, windmill. Rotating at a, a whopping zero. It's just like uh, it's just like Kenshi having to rely on really unreliable wind. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a mix of like PTSD and enjoyment, I would say. I think I'm going to cross over to steel beds now because we are sort of at our end of the, our wood supply. So Agnew, where are you? Let's get you making that. Off the floor, my friend. In fact, let's have a little bit of this move around. And spaceship part just crashed. That's not too, too far away. Until I have a decent supply of beep, I'd rather not give uh, beep a supply of something that could be potentially fatal. As that is, rolling the die on his life. Alright, so why did I think you'd be a good crafter? You've got... Because Beep's the other crafter. Okay, yeah, you are probably our best crafter. That is true. Well, then let's get uh, a tailoring bench up and running. So now that we've double insulated our... Um, let me do it a little bit better. Now that we are starting to double insulate our kitchen and our butchery... Um, it's becoming a little bit easier to insulate. But uh, this living area is getting really, really cramped. So that's something I'm going to have to solve as well. Beep is a good role model and Beep wouldn't do drugs. Yeah, I can get behind that reasoning. Alright, 
definitely getting this kitchen better insulated. And actually, let's not even... Oh, no, we'll, we'll allow a door out to the farm. But uh, we won't... I'm using up so much good real estate, though, it bugs me a little bit. Maybe I'll have it double insulated from the outside and just single insulated. I mean, double insulated from the outside, single insulated inside. So I don't use up too much of this uh, good terrain. Grasswing, thanks for the bits. Bot died again. All right. Is it the raids that are killing the bot? I'm sort of curious as to dig through the uh, airlog. But uh, maybe I'll have to... Let me know what you're trying to buy. It is raids. All right. I was kind of wondering about that. Um, why would raids be killing it? I don't know. I'm as baffled as you are. Um, must be some sort of incompatibility between the Twitch toolkit and the mod. And it doesn't know how to execute raids. So... I, it might be sort of up to me to execute raids. So I'm just going to send myself a 100 point raid, which is sort of the natural progression of RimWorld. And these are dust bandits that are coming my way. Kadath here is going to need some... Um... Yeah, I'm going to have to fix that, clearly. Kadath is going to need some uh, ranged weapon. For now, I'm going to have to rely on this steel club because I don't really have much better. And they're fleeing because they spawned right next to the bugs and the bugs destroyed them. Wow, alright. Well, that was a short-lived raid. Do incident. Uh, let's see. Nope, that didn't work. Let's see, uh, do another, fine, execute raid, yeah, I see your point, 150 point raid, sand ninjas, oh, these guys actually have guns, oh, look at them progressing, guns, what are guns? All right, beep. You shouldn't venture too far. Oh, they're attacking bugs again in their infinite wisdom. And they downed one of themselves. Wow, look at that. Uh, Ruka, let's queue up. Kadath, beep, and Agnew. Ouch, I just got shot. I got gutted. Well, beep's here to defend. And he killed him. Good job, Beep. Slashed his torso till he died. Alright, Kadath, well, have a revolver. Now, Klein, I'm sort of curious if the Tori Talker events could uh, prompt raids as well. So, faction unrest. Here we go. Power Music says there is a peace talk. Um with the shinobi thieves they've had diplomatic troubles with the hungry bandits and they're asking me to mediate between them two so it's not me making peace with anyone it's just me helping the shinobi thieves uh make peace with the hungry bandits sure i guess we could attend um medicine from exactly estimated and herbal meds from mord so that would mean giving up ruka and she just got gutted by a revolver so it's kind of a bad... It just literally became a bad time, but it doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. I just want to at least patch her up first. Kadath, what are you doing? Go tend. Visitor coming. Jamie is heading on over. Oh, and had to pass uh, Sonia the Sailor here, who um, I guess got back up from murdering some bugs and then went right back down. 
So bad events are coming, aren't they? So here is the peace talks. And I'll be heading out there soon. I hope I have enough pemmican. I don't know how to make pemmican. That's going to be a sort of a bottlenecking problem. I'm just going to leave the dev menu up so I can raid myself, I guess. As there's not a, not a really good alternative. If it doesn't work. All right, Ruka, you are up. Let's go see what this uh, Taiga guy has to offer. And she just got an infection. Oh, she's definitely not uh, going to be doing any sort of peace talks. I'm going to have to send someone else. All right, we'll start giving her herbal meds. And that leaves Kadath to do it. And Kadath is... Probably does not have enough heat protection, uh, which means I'm going to need a cowboy hat. So, Kadath, you're going to make yourself a cowboy hat, and then you can go ahead and leave. Uh, Kadath is no longer a creepy breather. It's just a psychopath. Beep could go, but... Beep doesn't really have the, uh, the passion for societal diplomacy. He's more of a beat them in the face first, ask questions later kind of guy. Mad Emu. Alright. Got one of them coming. I don't think, uh, Ruka, you don't need to, like, leave to go fight it. It's coming to us. Everybody tries to slice up Beep. <laughs> At the start of every fight, Beep's the one that takes damage. It's kind of sad, kind of funny. Alright, so Kadath, you've got yourself a really, really, really crummy cowboy hat. I guess everyone could use a cowboy hat. So now he has a cowboy hat and he's protected up to 94. Uh, he's going to want a duster as well. Um, so let's only make one more cowboy hat and then we'll make a duster. Because I'm really not going to be able to field him in any sort of negotiation until I can survive the, uh, the heat. <laughs> Black Ren just looking for a little... Bits tag badge. Bulk goods coming from Fernal. Nice. Wow, it's just one guy? Named Olympia. Well, he thinks highly of himself. I could kill him and get his loot. Who is he representing? The Black Desert Skeletons? I'm not likely to want to piss them off just yet. Uh, Agnew's wearing a hat. That's cute. Actually, Agnew, how about you do the trading? Because, you know, somehow... Oh, can't talk. All right, so that's penalizing. Yeah, I sort of supposed. Uh, beep, you'll do it. Uh, what do we got? We can sell you some rice. I will sell you 150 of my rice. And that gives me some silver. Uh, I don't want to sell too much of the gifts you all have sent me, though. But I do want uh, to buy some wood, because I don't have a whole lot of it. Diddy Master, thanks for the bit. Oh, look at this beautiful wind turbine that I just can't benefit from. Yeah, I did, I did notice the skeleton meat. It's equal parts disturbing as it is fascinating that you can somehow butcher skeletons. Check the past 10 messages. Okay, yeah, here we go. Touchstone gold, cloth. Um, Fernal sending me the traitor. Trait of... Oh, I already read that. And infections. 
those kind of messages, I just needed to right click them off. Oh, you meant in Twitch chat? Oh, the Ibion resub? I don't know what you're trying to refer to. Maybe I'm just uh, dense. Vomorix sending me beer, since I can't send cowboy hats. Well, I do have a little bit of bird skin. Oh, we're getting no power out of that. Alright, Emu. Sorry, you're going to have to die too. What kind do you give... Oh, bird skin. Boo. Lame material, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. All right, here we go. Emu went crazy. And Beep's going to start slashing it up. Oh, Beep got it down. <laughs> the killing blow is cutting off its tail. Nice. So with the additional bird skin, I should be able to, or at least I'm earning my way towards a duster. Everybody wants the traitor to die? Uh, this traitor is not... Uh, he has some stuff, but I don't think it's worth all-out war with the Black Desert. Oh. I think... Now is the time to warrant mining southbound, because uh, we are getting a lot of events down there, and it would be good for me to be able to cut through the mountain. Medical emergency. Oh, wow, that uh, infection really is bad. The roadwork events, if you're curious, uh, builds roads between different settlements. That's the long and short of it. So, small sculptures. I need 50 ingredients. I have the slate for it, but I don't really have anything else. All right, looks like everyone's healed except for Ruka, who has... Oh, now is immune. Good. I wasn't worried for her, but that infection was pretty bad. Friendly AI, cool. Not going to need that for a long, long time. If ever. So Agnew, <laughs> sporting, the, sporting the hat here. Because, you know, of all, the, of all the characters we have, Agnew's clearly the one that's most heat-sensitive. Um, that's pretty funny to me. Raids haven't been working. The break... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Events. I'm going to have to temporarily disable the raids because they keep killing the bot. There are other types of raids that are a little bit more expensive. I'm curious if they even work. Um... And what I'm going to have to do is just call raids down to myself to at least get it functional, sort of functional. And it'll be at the top of my list of things to do to debug. I'm not sure why raids wouldn't work. Alright, I'm going to want to hunt another emu. Ooh, exotic goods coming from Everlost. I'm definitely going to want to hunt another emu for more bird skin so I have a duster so that Kadath could go to the peace docks. Um, so actually, both of you, stop what you're doing, and we're going to go team hunt one. In fact, Beep, you want to tag along? Of course Beep wants to tag along. As the bot reconnects, it kills the performance of my game. Oh, who are you? You are another Bat Black Desert trader. I'm a little worried about friendly fire here. I don't want to hit his, any of his muffalo. Also, who uses muffalo in the desert? 
Oh, he he got attacked. Borellin. All right, here we go. Oh, the other one. Run, Ruka, run. All right, so she got uh, beaked up a bit, but we're okay. Uh, Kadeth, you're going to start butchering them, and then... Then we'll have the... Uh, no, I don't want to rescue it. Are you kidding? Muhammad, thanks for the Twitch sub right there. Oh, now zebras are going crazy. Uh-oh. Man, the Black Desert Skeleton's not too happy with me, because I just keep getting the hurt. So, Power Music sending some pemmican for the Peace Talks. Uh, Absolute Sin sending Smoke Leaf, which makes sense to me. Uh, the zebra went crazy, because DD Master made it went crazy. And marble blocks for a statue, and Fernal saying he's going to bed. Cool. Well, I don't have quite enough for a full statue, but uh, that's a good start. I could take off the uh, the parka, but I'm just the parka only gives me um, insulation. It doesn't actually lower my heat resistance, so. Uh, he's patching himself up. It's not a mercy kill. You guys really have a lot of bloodlust. Ooh, Kadath is medical emergency of it's way too hot. And right now I'm relying on wind to cool off my base. Alright, I think what I'm going to need to do is... I hate to use it, but uh, I'm going to need a passive cooler because the power is just not uh, consistent enough. There are a few competent doctors in the colony, yes. Bandits are spreading. Oh, okay. Well, that's one way to raid me. So now I have a new bandit camp from Crawl's Chosen that's uh, west of me. Gonna have to keep an eye out for them. And this passive cooler has done not for his extreme heat stroke. He's straight up unconscious now. Ah, uh, no, it's cooling down a little bit. Let's go work in the uh, freezer, and that will help. Alright, so the duster here. Who was supposed to make the duster? It was Agnew. Actually, let's make it with Kadath. The uh, parka doesn't hurt him towards heat. It just protects him from cold. So it's not... The, the uh, duster is not working against him at all. It's not a negative thing. It's a neutral thing. Oh, power shortage again. Man, we are going to need some batteries... I also never really uh, traded with these guys. Alright, Ruka, you're hurt. Once Kadath is fully healed, we'll see what kind of uh, heat protection we've afforded ourselves. Alright, so we do have a duster there. Uh, 108? That's eh, still not good enough. I'm going to really need to protect myself with, like, camel hide or something. All right, this guy has... Should you try a separate? Sure, go for it. Uh, has industrial technology blueprints, but I can't afford it. Uh, that would give me a new technology in industrial. So I'm going to need a uh, hyperweave or um, other high-quality uh, materials to really protect myself from the heat, I think. Let me know. I, I'm guessing you already tried the Saparade and it failed. I'm assuming. Caravan request. Five dusters for a chain shotgun, a plasteel Iqua, 
and frag grenades. Wow, that is really generous. Um, yep, bot death. Okay. Man, what is going on here? Separate killed it again? Uh, okay. Uh, what's interesting is let's see if I can execute a separate specifics. Oh, no, that didn't work. Execute raid. I'll just send myself a 200 point raid. So they're going to prepare a while. And a meteor landed almost on them? What just happened? Oh, oh, this is, uh, raid's gone wrong. Yeah, uh, so the meteor landed in Andrew and, and made them aggravated, I guess. That's funny. My guess is the raids aren't working because the load order between Raids Gone Wrong and the Raids Gone Wrong uh, integration with Twitch Toolkit is probably off. Um, and therefore breaking it. Granite blocks coming from Dairy Thog. Thank you. So I'll just keep periodically raiding myself. Um, you're just going to have to re rely on me being fair. And a mad zebra. Oh, it's going to them. Oh, I almost feel bad for those raiders. Alright, they're beginning their assault. Rightfully so. They're kind of pissed off that... Uh, I keep getting a pass. And then, of course, you hear the RimWorld music for the battles. How's Beep doing? He's ready to fight. Oh, these guys are trickling in all sorts of wrong. I love it. It's going to make this real easy. Alright, Beep, you want to tank or have Agnew? Let's have Agnew tank, just because I think she could take a hit a little bit better. Beep will eventually one day be Cyber Beep. But he's just not Cyber Beep yet. And then Crab just sent a downed dude. Who we will rescue named Bowman. Oh my god, that is so funny. I literally have a patron named Bowman. But uh, yeah, named Bowman who is incapable of carrying a super good shooter, she is ready to throw down. So we'll send a rescue party with that momentarily. Oh, he's uh, hopped up in Gojuice. I was sort of wondering why uh, that raider was tougher than the rest. It's a Gojuice addiction. Oh, you're fleeing now. Beep does not believe in fleeing. Oh, and then another transport pod crash. Uh, wow. Conveniently, just about on top of the... What? Debug log. Hold on. Was that me? Apparently, I reached maximum name Merlin. A pacifist. Hmm. Uh, so, we have a bit of an issue. Do we want a Dr. Cra oh, Crafter? Crafter. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, Beep and Agnew, how hurt are you? You're not that hurt. Uh, are you... How slow are you? Moving is poor. Okay, so it's not going to be Agnew. Ruka and Beep, we're going to go do some rescues. What are they? Spacer and Spacer? They're both Spacers. Cool. Then we don't even have to imprison anyone. I don't like Senaruka because it just takes her so long. But uh, Kadath is not protected enough from the environment. And uh, Agnew is wounded, so. Trait. Uh, Kadath is now a jogger. Ooh, that's productive. It's too bad there's no such thing as Heat Lover like there used to be. Uh, wood coming from Nuno Daniel. Yeah, we have another Cephalu. Except for Cephalu was a constructor and not a... Uh, a crafter. A crafter would be pretty good. Not that I want to settle Kadath as our cook, but he does have a burning passion for it. Um, uranium coming. He wants a wall of uranium, or something that protects me. I think a uranium door would be good once I save up for it. But I'd probably want an auto door first. So far, none of these raiders have had uh, technology, though. I think it's, it's really like a 3% chance, unless they're a faction leader. Uh-oh. 
Um, Ruka, you are going to have to... Rescue him, like, right here. Ah, the 1k bits badge. So let me do a quick zone restriction. Uh, area 1. Uh, he's basically not going to survive. In fact, let me drop Bowman. Bowman will survive the walk back, but the other one won't. Thanks, Artie Marty, for the bits. I do have auto zone, auto home zone on. Let me get rid of it because it's starting to make some bad choices for me. Anything in here is fine to be home, but uh, I don't want it too too large. So this is this is our home, our little uh, Kenshi settlement. Alright, uh, the worst of his injuries have been patched, so we will unrestrict and rescue. Oh, Beep is pissed about something. A tunnel to the south would be handy too. Yeah, I'm currently working on it, but I'm trying to mine the way through where all the steel is. Bowman probably did call him a stick man or something. Uh, he saw some corpses and is drowsy and is in pain. Pemmican coming from Grasswing, thanks. There's a hole in my base from the tunnels? No, there isn't. You mean here? Because there is not a hole there. Now I'm confused as to what you saw that I did not. Loving the mashup, Kadath says, with bits. Thanks. I just wish, wish Raids was working immediately, but I'll get it working uh, for next episode. I'll just... Now I know it's a problem, so I can fix it. Alright, let's haul these bodies out of the way so we don't have to keep staring at dead bodies. Children of the Atoms shall join Kenshi on the Rim. That is my... Uh, Stellara series where I'm role-playing as the Children of Adam from Fallout series. Who have a bit of a fanatical church bend to them. Looks, wow, equal. Uh, colonist and drop. What's going to win? I don't know. Is it going to tie? I don't know. Alright, what I'll do here is I'll prioritize the tunnel first with Agnew, and then I'll mine up the rest of the steel. Alright, so these guys are mostly healed up. Kadath, you didn't patch all of them, but, uh, you know. Oh, it looks like Colonist is starting to win. Uh, Beep's a little drunk. Beep knows how to party. Wanderer joins. Dalek, who is a uh, teetotaler, psychically deaf, and a skeleton. Well, you all know what this means. I gotta assign this to one of you. Um, so let's go roll it. Proto Eden, you are Dalek now. Oops, that's not how I do it. <laughs> Gotta do it right. Are the peace talks ending? Uh, let's see. Quest tab. I've got 17 days on those peace talks. Bowman just joined. Oh boy, here we go again. Roll it. Muhammad. You are now Bowman. Name Q. And I should start renaming this. And what were you? Oh, 
All right, that's a lot of work tabs. That's a lot of additional people. So let's take a look. Let's highlight Proto first. So I did say teetotaler, so no drugs, cyclically deaf, which means, oh man, we have two, two, two te uh, teetotalers. Prosthetic leg coming down from Lara and Cool, and bulk goods from the Sheck Kingdom. Oh, this is the first time the Sheck's visited. So here's, wow, that's a big group of Sheck. What the Sheck? Um, and then Muhammad here is also a teetotaler, annoying vo voice, and tough. Pretty good shoot stats. Uh, this was the good female shooter. So given that you're female, high call is what I'm going to call you. Uh, of course, you could always buy a uh, gender change, I suppose. And our numbers are increasing. Cobra says, uh, I don't have to attack that uh, caravan. Yeah, they uh, outnumber me considerably. In fact, that would probably be very, very bad. Uh, Proto is also... Oh, Proto actually might be the one to go to the uh, the event. So let's change who our warden is. Uh, our warden is now going to be Proto. And Proto, you don't eat, so you're a perfect contender to go to the peace docks. I'm going to send you. you <laughs> the game's like, oh, you'll become hungry quickly. It's like, BS. That's not true. You are le robot. A robot that's carrying simple meals. You are indeed a skeleton. Alright, Merlin has not yet woken up or something. Hasn't cho chosen to join us. We are also going to need some additional uh, beds, aren't we? Chief Constructor Agnew. Is Agnew Bender now? Is that is is this a thing? Not only am I going to need some, um, but I also really ought to start investing in uh, bedrooms as well. So here's what I'll do. I'm just trying to think about where to put the bedrooms. I know I'm right up against the um, caves here for a reason. Eventually, I'm going to mine that out, and it will be a nice sort of escape route if I need to just pull the ripcord and bail uh, what we can leave the colony really, really, really quickly. And then here could be a secret high-value uh, stockpile if we need. And there's our first three bedrooms. Can't buy beds? No. Sleep locks coming down from Power Music. What do I get from the faction unrest for the uh, talks? Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know what the reward war will be. Well, let's see about this. Uh... Okay, so the Sheck are selling human meat. I do find that a little disturbing. I kind of like it, though. Uh, a part of me is like, that's really cool. That's metal. And then a part of me is like, but that's also gross. I don't know. Mixed feelings about that. Um, what else can I sell them? I'm going to sell my smoke leaf joints because I'm about to make a bunch. And that yields me a little bit of silver that I can work with. Uh, but shouldn't these buildings be standalone? Well, they're small enough that maybe I'm not. Oh, what? There we go. They're just like little supply crates in Kenshi style. Think of them that way. So there is the starter of our bedrooms. One, two, three, four, five, four, well, six, I guess. Merlin has not chosen to join us yet. He's a diva. Alright, 
we're going to have a really weird sort of barracksy layout here. And this way I can cool it down a little bit easier. Uh, that's a really big bedroom, isn't it? It's bigger than I intended it to be. Alright, I will start to set up vents. Yes. Uh, let's see. Temperature. Uh, let's, yeah, we're going to want even more vents than that. It's too bad I, uh, I laid it out and then I'm just sort of relaying it out. But, that's how it be sometimes. Alright, that's a big old weird hive of a complex, but that'll have to do. Uh, you guys can leave. So Proto, how is your progress? Your needs, your food is met. You're just resting on the wall. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting looking, that's for sure. And now, Merlin just joined us. No surprise there. Uh, let's roll it! Labyrinth Cool, this one is yours. So... Name Q. And assigned. And taking a look at you, you're greedy, cyclically deaf, and iron-willed, and you're also a pacifist, and also going to be our crafter. You're a good doctor. So you're our doctor crafter. Mr. Crafter Doctor. So I'm going to take everyone else off of smithing and tailoring, and, uh... That's actually something I like to do, is not risk the best crafter or the best constructor in combat. So, this is one way to do it. His background is, uh, crafter, yes. So, as the background being crafter, uh, I'm guessing the fact that he's from an organ farm... Uh, means that he will never be able to do combat. That's sort of the way these back backstories work. It is the way it is. A part of me... Oh, God, yes. I'm gonna... You know, I'm gonna do it. Because I am dastardly. A part of me wants to dig this part out and pump my hot heat into this cave. And then eventually I'll wall up this cave and just let the bugs cook. Grab that leg in my cotton field? Sure thing. I will grab it at the speed of one cell per second. Oh boy, that's slow. Alright, these are some pretty weird bedrooms, but uh, I like it. Trade Caravan is leaving, and they left a recurve bow for me. Cool. Um... Okay, uh, let's see. I proto even got here. And I can either curry favor with the Shinobi Thieves or curry favor with the Hungry Bandits, sabotage the peace talks, or broker peace between the two factions. I'm going to curry favor with the Shinobi Thieves. Alright, Hungry Bandits hate me more. Shinobi Thieves really, really like me. Good job. Good job. I don't think the Hungry Bandits were... They're bandits. They were never going to like me. So uh, that works for me. I almost accidentally just dev teleported to the town instantly. That would have been a bad, bad thing. Uh, Muhammad Heikel, let's give you the bow. Uh, we do have the beds here, and well, oh, they're poor because I wasn't careful about who made them. Dang! Joss sending me a grand sculpture. I don't even. I'm just gonna put it here and ruin my stockpile. Let's put it over one. Trait purchased. Removal of T-Toddler from Proto. 
so he can now be a drunk bot. And Angel sent me some slate blocks. Alright, I keep forgetting who my... Agnew, you are the, still the best constructor. So let's get Agnew on these steel beds. I, I would like nice beds. Trait purchased. Uh, fast learner. For Kadath. Nice. Uh, let's keep this standard bed. We can't be too, too picky. And eventually I'll, I'll work on making better ones. Oh, here's an excellent one. That's that's quite good. I just want to uh, free these guys from the big old um, barracks. This nasty barracks that they live in. And uh, allow them to spread their wings and enjoy their own bedrooms. And I think I need one more. Yes? Uh... What's the point of youth serum? It removes things like bad back and uh, dementia, like age-related diseases, I believe. I haven't used it myself, but I believe that's what it's supposed to do. Uh, I think it's probably around time for another attack. What do you guys think? Another little raid coming my way. As the current rating is broken. Alright, definitely... Raid with points. Let's give me a 300 point raid. They are preparing a while, and there are five of them. They've got bolt action rifle, grenades, that kind of jazz. All right. Well, if they're preparing, why don't I? I'll make some traps. Oh, got some error message. Uh, I don't think, yeah, that was just, it didn't know what music to play, because I'm heading into a battle. And it keeps playing different music. Lovren, you should probably not be leaving right now. Okay, this <laughs> music is going crazy. Lavern just heat stroked unconsciously. Alright, music, stop. What it's trying to do is it's trying to play a appropriate battle music and it just doesn't know what tune that might be because I don't have any that it dedicated to the battle. Uh, let me try to fix that real quick. It would be in options, mod settings, custom music. Um, let's pick this for tense. It's trying to play tense music, and I didn't have any tense music set up. Help wanted. The nearby settlement uh, contacts me. They have a bumper crop, and they need me to farm it. Cool. And then medicine coming from King Zomber. Nice. Well, thank you. All right. The Red Sabers are attacking with their grenades and bolt-action rifles, and they're coming up from the bottom of my base. Great, because I mine that all the way out. Do do your all suggestions. All right, let's go stand up north and hope that they walk past my base and attack me and not steal the medicine. I just realized the south pass is open. Tis a problem. Um, when I get a chance, I will make a granite door there. Lavern Cool is no longer greedy. That's cool. That's Lavern Cool. All right, come on, raiders. Oh, don't set that on fire. Oh, don't be jerks. All right, I'm going to go have to go out on the attack because they're being jerks. All right, let's take cover behind beds. They offer a little bit of cover because I don't feel comfortable standing out in the open. And... Bane just dropped a whole bunch of uh, bits, so thank you for that. Dee did as well. Alright, let's get Mr. Frag Grenade out of the picture. Alright, uh, Beep and Agnew definitely just murdered that guy. And, oh, he dropped Spacer Technology Blueprint. That's pretty cool. 
Hi, Call. You're going to need a little bit of cover. Uh, he's throwing grenades at me. So let me back up. Oh, Agnew just killed him. But uh, definitely destroyed some beds there. Uh, Hi, Call. Let's get you inside and put in that fire out. All right, now they're fleeing for the fires that they set. I'm definitely going to want to repair the southern pass. Uh, instead of chasing them down, how about I just put out the fires? Because these fires are going to be really, really annoying. Can I put the fire out before the cooler goes kaput? Hopefully. All right, we killed a few of them. And we definitely got some spacer tech. That's pretty cool. It's too bad I can't just, like, I could hypothetically stockpile the bodies near the fire, but I'd rather have the rice. Good job, High Call. He put out the uh, fires in time. And I got myself some blueprints. Good death. No available technology. Oh, wow. I, so, this spacer tech is worth five grand, but because I don't have any of the prereqs, because uh, this is, what, industrial? Spacer tech would give me maybe a multi-analyzer. Nope, that's also industrial. It would give me beyond multi-analyzer. That's too bad I don't even have the ability to use it. Alright, I definitely need some more cowboy hats, so I need to do some hunting, because, uh, my guys are collapsing due to the heat. Which also means I'm going to need to appropriately um, AC this up real good. I was going to put the AC in here to heat up the bugs once I close that off, and I think that'd be pretty funny. And I, I'm still going to do that. So, wildlife. There's two zebras. Great. It is... Oh, it's in the middle of the summer, that's why. proto Eden's back. He's got... Uh, some joints and some meals. Definitely going to want that southern pass walled off. There's no point in Trojan, Trojan horsing my own base, right? Uh, I will also probably... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't use the good meds. Use herbals. Yeah, I'll probably end up selling that spacer tech and maybe regretting it sometime down the line. Looks to me like I need to get mining again. Oh no, I, I have a lot of steel. I just need to start constructing with it. Yep, here we go. Now we're starting to make some stuff. Proto lacks a weapon. Well, here's an auto pistol. Uh, who is our best shooter? It was High Call, I think. Yep, High Call. Here's the bolty. And then... Rooka. Time to switch up to the... Where are you? What were you doing? Oh, she was a... Uh, oops, oops. She was hauling the zebra. What I'll do uh, to try to troubleshoot the bugs with this is I will... Uh, I'll work with one of the mods here and figure out what's going wrong so that next stream it works flawlessly. Or at least closer to flawlessly. Because, you know, the raid's not working is obviously a big issue. All right, these uh, these buildings are starting to look about ready for construction. Tech prof is probably too low, yeah. For free for a tech. If if you have any uh, feedback as to the pricings of things, uh, definitely hit me up after the stream ends, and I'll start to write it down. It's hard to do it while I'm streaming. Yayo coming down for power music. Uh, I could use the non-humans to cut up the corpses. Uh, that would still... Butchering human likes still makes everyone sad. Even if, you know... Yeah, it just makes everyone sad. Oh, 
All right, we're starting to get the bed set up. And now we just have to cool it down. Oh, that's not where I want the corpses. Come on, guys. Bury. Bury your dead or you get diseases. Uh-oh. A little bit of a so first social fight. Uh, Ruka's horns got shattered off. That's not good. That, that is a mean fight. I don't know how important the horns are. I don't know what the, like, equivalent of horns would be. And a Matagawana coming from Ar Arctic... Uh, Agnew and Beep, you guys are our defenders. Oh, actually, Beep, some one of you is way outside the base. Uh, again, not sure what Agnew is doing. Lavern just collapsed due to heat stroke. Man, it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Um, that's not going to be... All right, let me, uh, whoa, just teleported. Let's put him inside and put up another passive cooler. All right, so right horn is, I don't, uh, I guess I'll figure it out once. Once she's conscious and fully healed. They are pretty important, you say? Yeah, I have no idea. She's too beat up for me to have any sort of uh, point of reference as to how important they are. Yeah, maybe their ears. I don't know. Alright, Kadath, you seem homeless. Yeah, I'm doing a bad job of housing people. Uh, what am I waiting on? More steel for vents? So that's Agnew's job. Herbal meds coming down from M, M Winter Sun. And you have a medical emergency. You need to go inside. Alright, let's rescue, put him inside. Kadath, thanks for the bits. Ah, oh, reward for housing. Alright, so it's uh, 68 degrees inside right now. Um, part, of the re part of the problem is I don't have a steady source of power. Every time the wind dies down, I just completely lose my wind. Um, yes. So... I could do wood fire again, but uh, I would need to spend a lot of my wood feeding it. I don't really see that there's an alternative proto. How about you sleep in your bed? In a bedroom. Crazy thought, but I actually I made you one, so let's get over there. Alright, Agnew is mining. Trying to get everything put together. Uh, let's see. Drinking beer? No. I need Agnew to do some real mining. Geothermal would be great. I just can't choose what I... Uh... Oh, bulk goods being sent to me. That means I can sell my spacer tech. I can't choose my research, which is part of the challenge here. All right, beep. Let's haul this out. Alright, now there's not chunks of stuff in the way. Wow, batteries. Okay, so I am able now potentially to research batteries. Um, yeah, that's probably the best thing, right? Yeah, let's queue up the research for batteries. And Proto, we're going to use the Tech Prof. Thank you, APC, for that. Cobra, I'm not going to be uh, bloodthirsty just because you want me to be. I'm not attacking potential allies. We don't have a lot of allies out here in the uh, the rim of Kenshi. 
And Campbell Spider sent me some Psychic Tea. Keeping everyone sane. Alright, so Agnew's getting the steal for us. And who is our best warden? It would be Proto, still. Geothermal might have been better. Okay, so I have horse meat to... S okay, what do I have to sell? I have a bunch of plain leather that I probably want to use. Do, do I want to part with stuff? Maybe some of the drugs that I don't intend to use. And... I could definitely buy a dromedary, but I don't really have the food to feed it. Nope. I'll just go for the silver. I'll build up silver for important stuff. Uh, they wouldn't buy my spacer tech, so I'm going to have to find an appropriate vendor for that. Alright, Ms. Agnew, let's get that door built. This time, geothermal. Alright. That works for me, Elm. It's probably, uh... Probably too powerful, but... Proto Eden is now sanguine. Happy robot. I now have geothermal. Forget that junk. Go straight to the geo. And Proto buying the trait for himself. Uh, I don't think they want the tech. Let me check one more time. I don't really see it as an option. No. Spacer tech. Trader not willing to buy this. That's too bad. Ooh, Agnew getting a little moody. Uh-oh. A little wreck deprived. Time to do some drugs. Some tea and some beer. All right, Agnew, we really, really, really need a steady source of power, and geothermal is about as good as it gets. Here's a poor skull. Oh, poor. Um, all right, we'll start installing it. Arctic sending me steel, sent me an iguana and then some steel to make up for it. I still need one more bed as well, or two. No, just the one. Well, we'll keep this as a uh, hospital bed. So, yeah, I'll make the two. Alright, they're leaving because of dangerous temperature, which is funny because they're skeletons. So, it's certainly... Uh, it might be dangerous to the muffalo, actually. I take it back. Do I have any wreck stuff? Yeah, I do. I have some basic wreck. Oh, who made these beds? Excellent and poor? Well, one of them's good. Here. Agnew, make a bed right here. I'm working Agnew pretty hard. Needs. Rest. Well, let's not rest. Let's recreate. And keep working. At least the Southern Pass is walled off. I do need to reinforce it because it's certainly not very well guarded. And then it's also uh, potentially a bug trap. That's not good. Not good at all. Stupid unreliable wind power. Can we get the spirits have granted us new wisdom when we get research? Sure. I, I can I can say that. Uranium coming down from Drunken Lizard. I'm surprised you didn't send me a mad animal. Like a drunken lizard, perhaps. 
due to the heat, we really haven't had anything grow significantly. It's just so hot. Uh, Agnew, look! We're ready for geothermal. Go, go, go. And then our base will actually stay a steady temperature and not fluctuate like crazy. Power is on. Power overwhelming. Awesome. And I think it goes without saying that I'm going to want another geothermal over here. I'm going to need to run power. Um... Oh, a psychic soothe. Hope this helps. It does. It really does. All of the males in this colony appreciate that. So the uh, other issue I foresee is food is a little scarce and it's really hot so that there's no wildlife here. So hydroponics is going to be another big ticket item that we're going to have to investigate. Uh, but for me to earn the, I think, we're probably due for another raid. Everyone's starting to look pretty healthy. Oh, well, perfect. <laughs> I'm guessing that was prompted. So here is what we're going to do. We are going to put coolers in these spots. And then eventually we can wall off the caves around here. Um, and actually what I'm going to do is put a door here. So that we can exit to the caves if we need to. Bad events are coming. Did I just get struck by light? No, I'm just healing. Ooh, it's getting stormy. Food is definitely looking sad. Components are not, though. It's no longer ridiculously hot inside anymore. But I think Labyrinth Cool and, uh... Oh, really? And Heiko have the right idea of uh, staying in the, uh, the infirmary. Oh, here we go. Trying to get some cowboy hats and... For insulation. Oh, we got a raid! So they can come. Shrieking bandits. Oh, nice. Well, bring them on. Beep loves to kill shrieking bandits. Oh, well, they're getting pretty close. Let's get people defending... People chase you. Oh, never mind. There will be no chase. I was so excited to do the foot chase there that they didn't survive. Some beer coming down. Party! Nice. I like party beer. I might have to lower the temperature of the map. I would say it's probably, honestly, just too ridiculous. Given the, uh, the amount of heat stroke that we're risking constantly. Annual Expo. Um, so this is a expo that is about showing off, I guess. I've been invited to attend this expo. It's a science fair. 
All right, so I would send my best researcher to the science fair, which would be Lavrincool, but I don't think Lavrincool can uh, survive the temperatures. Yeah, you would become heat stroked and die. Uh, wear the duster. Okay, yeah, if I wear the duster, I can go. I don't have pemmican, though, so I don't really have the provisions to go. Um, I also don't have the ability to even make any sort of meals that allow me to travel. I don't know how to do pemmican. So, yeah. They're pretty cool to attend, but uh, we're pretty dreadfully ill-equipped to do it. Is, I think, the long and short of it. I could send a robot. Uh, none of my robots. I guess I could send Ruka. Um, but none of my robots are good scientists, which is the issue. Darn. I barely had any food, and I just had some rot. That sucks. Mad dromedary. Ooh. Cool. Oh, there's a bunch of dromedaries on the map. Let's hunt them. Uh, two mad dromedaries. And some pemmican coming from dairy. Nice. And angel, too. Alright, so we do have the provisions. That just appeared out of nowhere. Alright, these are the mad dromedaries. Uh, Ruka, you... Where did your blade go when you got knocked unconscious? I don't know. But I'm guessing that's... Yep, another mad dromedary. So the people that sent those are... Arctic, King Zomber, and Didi. Where is her Gladius? Did... I don't really know where the Gladius went. Oh, no, she didn't have a Gladius. She had the bow. That's right. All right, well, there's two downed. Our mailers didn't even get any fun out of that. But all of this uh, camel hair is really, really, really good material for uh, heat insulation, which will be great. All right, Ruka, you're already injured. How about you don't go solo a camel? That sounds bad. Oh, it's already on high call. Oh, it's... Oh, no, no. Alright, Proto, go help. I'm playing Keep Away. It's a game of tag. I think I'm winning. Alright, yeah, these will make nice hats. Very, very nice hats. Camel hide is not as good as camel hair, but it's still better than the, the parkas that we have. I don't really know why the game keeps spawning these spacers with parkas. They, that seems particularly weird to me. And it sounds like they're hunting the rest of the camels now. Now, the big concern here is, um, can we keep the meat frozen? And at the moment, I would say it's looking like a no. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more coolers to that, that setup. Because, yeah, these bedrooms are burningly hot. Gender swap. High call is now female. That's not even, I don't even know. Maybe that's not even a particularly feminine name that you got there. All right, Rook is fully healed. So a right horn does nothing. Apparently it's cosmetic because there doesn't seem to be any pain associated. But 
Beep's fully healed. Alright, everyone's fully healed. How about a 300 point raid? Ooh, a Neuromech Trainer for something. Low Fat Noodle sending me a shooting Neuromech Trainer. Ooh, I like. Who could benefit from this? Obviously not Labyrinth Cool. Uh, Kadath and Ruka. Oh, some sort of airlog. Oh, this is the battle music problems again. Come on, game. I solved this last time. Uh, Proto, I'm going to give it to you. You are hopeless when it comes to using a pistol, so... This raid is... Fogman! Ah! We got some Fogman coming. We got a soldier and a bunch of drones with... A variety of weapons heading our way. Alright, so Proto's now level 6 from up from 2. And once we head on out, uh, well, first things first, let me store my blocks somewhere more, less nonsense. So, um, I'm going to call this outdoor storage, make it preferred, and I'm going to start storing, um, stuff that can be outdoors, like this stuff. To free up the room from in here, because this is all filled up and I can't fit anymore. Trait purchased. Beautiful. Proto is now a beautiful robot. Libran's getting better at crafting. Here comes a camel hide duster, hopefully a good one. And the dead hive are attacking. And here they are. Alright, I suppose that means that I ought to, in a moment here... Oh no, they're taking a while. Get set up on the defenses. All right, let's rally the troops. Laverin, you can sit this one out, because you'll sit all of them out. Beep would love to hack up some, uh, some Fogman. Slate blocks coming down for the bedrooms. Now, the real question is, can I butcher these things without, uh, without mood problems? I'm legitimately interested if that is possible. Uh, and I'm gonna try. Trait purchased. Removal of Teetotaler. Oh, and Artie, thanks for the bits. Kadath, I think you sent bits and I didn't even announce that either. Okay, so here is the... Questionable butcher. I'm gonna just butcher one of them, and we're gonna allow human likes of Alien corpses. I don't know if it's gonna piss people off. I really don't so I Suppose this is a oh, this is their soldier Agnew. Let's go bag a soldier And then additionally if it doesn't piss them off uh Will I, I... I could hypothetically capture one, yeah. I could capture double. Um, I don't have a prison going on right now, but... Let's go ahead. Beep, you want to capture double? Oh, bye-bye, soldier. Soldier's dead. Outdoor could be a prison, too, yeah. True. Fog. Uh, they're pretty well protected from the heat. Alright, so here's a moment of truth. Will this super piss them off or not? No. It does not. We don't, uh, uh... Let me check all the races. Beep, did you care? Yes, Beep cared. Um, oh wait, he's a psychopath. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, it, it's a problem. It's a big old problem. Kadath is a psychopath, and he would never care. Alright, so not butchering the Fogman is a thing now. Prisoner, let's try to recruit you. Definitely keeping the prisoner in the same room as the frag grenades. Right now he's unconscious, but yeah, I'll move him. In fact, what I could do is, uh... Slate wall, slate door. And... A lamp. There. Now that won't backfire, right? Well, at least we know butchering any human likes is really a war crime. Even if they're foggers. And we have the duster. Nice. Let's do until I have one. And we'll set up the one. Feed double fog meat. That sounds horrible, but alright. Managed food restrictions. Let's go ahead and delete everything... Except for the nothing food restriction, and the nothing food restriction will be raw meat, fog meat. And you are going to be set to nothing. And let's rename nothing so it's not, not just nothing. Oh, Landfear, thanks for giving uh, Camel Spider a, uh, a sub there. Very generous of you. All right, uh, let's go bury the rest, because I feel bad butchering them. <laughs> Here I go war cramming again. Yes, Kadath, you are war cramming a bit. We do have a good amount of meat, though, from all those uh, dromedaries, so I'm glad that they popped up. And we're starting to get AC going, so soon we'll have uh, nice, cool bedrooms. I just need Agnew or someone similar to get mining. Uh, Agnew, Beep, or uh, Lavin need to start mining. What is a series without some war crimes? Yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be Kenshi without some war crimes. You're not wrong. Um, let's go and start cut all blocks. Cause right now we were just cutting the slates. I think we have enough slate to last us forever. Disease infection double has an infection. All right. A left leg glad Agnew gave him an infection with a dirty blade. Well done, Agnew. I like it. Did you know that Agnew is named after the developer's motorcycle? Pretty weird, right? Pretty weird. And ultimately, uh, named after Futurama, believe it or not. Give him a peg leg, it's basically the same. Yeah, you're not wrong. But as long as he recovers from the, uh, the infection, I think it's just fine to, uh, to keep him intact. Lav, in fact, you're going to go tend to him. Trait purchased, industrious for Kadath. Oh, well, Kadath is going to be Captain Craft now. So, we did decide that um, uh, we're still getting, why do we have, hmm, oh, we must have switched gear around, because High Call, was High Call the one that's going to go to, or no, it was Lav, Lav was going to go to the, okay, Lav will come morning, I'll take the pemmican and head on out to the science fair. 
components from Fangface. I have a lot of components now. All right, Lav, time to wake up. There we go. Up and at him. Don't make a cowboy hat. We're going to go to a science fair. So, Lav, take um, some meals, the rest of the pemmican, and head up north. It is a treacherous trip. It's too bad I don't have drop pods or anything like that. Uh, what I do need is a caravan pack spot. He started running weird north. We are down to the last of the steel here. Also, down here, it does pose a particular infestation risk. But, oh well. Alright, Lav is on his way. Let's hope he doesn't die of a heat stroke. Because it is pretty hot. And once I'm out there, there's not going to be a lot of recourses to protect me from heat stroke. Uh, we are heading into late in the season or whatever. So, hopefully, that's protection enough. Uh, let's get these ship junks. That will be some good steel. Taking a look around for other resources. Now, this desert is pretty seriously bad desert. Alright, there is some steel down here that we can tap into. I could also get a smelter because we're starting to get some slag. There's steel here, but that's pretty far away. There's steel up here, that's a little bit closer. And yeah, that might be about it. Oh, but they're they're mining together. Miner buddies. Someone killed the bot? Alright, let me restart that. Game's gonna lag up a whole bunch, and then we'll be back on. Here we go, geothermal number two. So who needs wind, right? There is a lot of geothermal on this map. Yeah, there's another one here. Another one here. Rain, dry thunderstorm, or animals wander in. Interesting choices. Alright, so we do have some AC cranking out now. Uh, the other issue is I'm going to need to double insulate, so, uh, and also close this door, because that doesn't help. So this is a whole lot of slate, but we'll double insulate. And then, um, we can also add this is to, like, a, some private storage as well. So I'm going to airlock the front, try to keep all that beautiful cold air in the base. And some of the bedrooms are actually becoming somewhat temperate. It's back into the 80s. It's not going to cook us or kill us or whatever. And another sneaky thing I want to do is walling up that. Uh, so what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a zone. Let's... New zone. No bugs. I'm gonna paint no bugs like this. Invert it. And assign everybody to it. Voila. Labyrinth cool, if you're wondering, you're fine. You're just fine. Science fair is lasting twelve more days, you'll make it in time. Now, am I gonna be able to get the dusters? For the border zone. That's a big question. I have 19 days on that. Um, if an animals wander in, yeah, I might be able to get some dusters. Dromedaries join. Ooh, you know what that means, right? Butchery gonna happen. Let's name this Butcher Pets and set it up right here. Sorry, pets. I just don't have the resources to keep you fed. It's a dark day for camels. Oh, Double's getting mad. 
Uh, beep, go repair. Artie Marty, thanks for the bits. The bot is dead again. I could keep him for camel hair. I just, uh, here's the problem, is they don't eat meat. Uh, and I have nothing really to feed them other than them eating my crops live. So, it's not really a good trade. Camel hair for no crops. Sounds bad to me. I can always tame some in the future, especially not in the middle of a summer. So I sent Agnew the better repair over here. The bot does not like raids, so you're going to have to lay off the raids. Uh, let me see what I can deactivate. Sapper raid. Sorry, Sap. What other kind of raids are there? If you want a raid, you could just uh, let... let um, Klein know or let me know and I can send a raid. Prosthetic arm coming down for one punch beep. Well, he, he's got arms though. I don't know if beep wants to be downgraded. He wants to be cyber beep, not caveman beep. But the gift is appreciated nonetheless. Alright, so here's the deal. I don't want symbol meals to be made out of... Uh, Let's make it out of meat now. And I'm going to forbid the... Oh, we've been making it out of Fogman? Where did all the Fogman meat go? Oh, we've been feeding it to Double. Oh, that's probably what made him go crazy. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely feeding Fog Fog made him go crazy. Give me some slate tiles, please. So the reason why I'm not uh, doing the slate tiles is it creates filth. Um, if we just live off dirt here, there won't be filth. So it's in our advantage to not tile up anything. Now, if I have a, a lot of workforce in the future, I could t start to tile stuff up. But I don't really want to spend any time cleaning filth up because it's annoying. Yeah, that should have made Double Happy is... Fogman loved to cannibalize, but apparently it didn't, so. Is he really a Fogman? I don't know. Maybe he's not. He's a liar. Uh-oh, that door is coming down. Um, Agni, where are you? I'm gonna need you back over here. I will grow some flowers uh, once I have the lights installed right now I'm just trying to keep it cool and then I'll I'll do the proper you know furniture and all that how's your progress oh, crossing rivers no beep Fighting Kadath. Wow, this fog's melee skills. I guess slate doors just suck for HP. Yeah, slate doors just suck for HP. That's what's going on. Transport crash from Artie Marty. Josephine, a defector. Okay. Really, really good doctor. Um, sure. Let's, let's do it. I'll put you here. High call. Will you go get this defector? We're going to have to capture her because she's a hostile spacer, not an allied spacer. She's a reaver, yeah. She's a defector from the reavers, though. I don't know. A little different. She's really old, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's so old. She's got a bum heart. She's frail. She's carcinoma. Um, youth serum, maybe, is what I'm thinking. Uh, Kadath, if you're wondering, you absolutely lost the fight against Beep. He beat you down pretty hard. Uh, Iron Willed, Proto is now Iron Willed. Oh, and this double dude is no longer going crazy on us. That's good. And in fact... Um, we will move the prison cell. Misery loves company, right? 
Another transport crash from Crab. Peter, who's a nervous drug addict. And uh, we'll also grab him. Why not? It's a party. Everybody's invited. Proto, you want to go grab this dude? Cool. How's my time? I got, what, 15 minutes left? Um, once I capture this guy, I'll call in a raid. I know, like, calling raids in when it's convenient for me is a little lame, but, uh, I'll, I'll fix it for next week. Alright, Ruka, I'm gonna have you unrestricted so you can walk the quick way. I don't think that, uh, we'll really be able to start cooking up these guys. Oh, I missed a spot. Don't look at me, bug. Uh, there's a lot of other no-bug zones I should set up as well. So let me do that. No bugs here. And no bugs here. Alright, yeah, these bedrooms are starting to be somewhat uh, comfortable. Peter, you're dying really, 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 really fast. Uh, Ruka, go tend. To Peter. Josephine, you're fine. Alright. Uh, we are going to want to recruit all of you. I'm probably not going to be able to recruit double for a long time because we're feeding them cannibalistic meat. Clifford is coming to join us from Arctic, sending us a happy little slowpoke, misogynist, greedy dude. Wow. Talk about negative traits. Yikes. Uh, good point. Extreme carcinoma requires... It's stable, but it requires removal. Yes, it really does. Um, we ought to get some beds up in that so I can... So they're not laying on the ground. Agnew is luckily idle, so let's get that going. And medicine coming from Pat. Having some mercy on these guys. Alright, we're going to have to uh, play Move the Prisoner a little bit, because there's not space to put them in. And let's do that again. Jang them in there. Man, we have a lot of prisoners, don't we? No, Proto, you're standing on it. There we go. Okay. Uh... Health, good meds, excise carcinoma, I need a medical 10. No one has medical 10 yet. Who's close? Ruka is 9. So we're pretty close to being able to excise that. Proto wonders if that's your last trait. Uh, yes, you are full up on traits. Beep. There we go. We'll move around a little bit faster. Why are you coming into my bedroom? Dude. Privacy. Oh, you're... Oh, don't exit that way. That was not good for you. Oh, he's willing to buy our crummy clubs. Sure. That sounds good to me. I'll even sell... Oh, no, I'll keep the frag grenades. You never know. Thanks, Clifford. Uh, no. The standard three, Rook, Beep, and Agnew aren't going to be changing at all. They're not assigned to anyone and, uh, and won't be. Uh, they're sort of static as far as, uh, people are concerned. Alright, Beep, I'm going to unrestrict you too. And have you build this wall while the bugs are asleep. And then we'll see if we can start super cooking the bugs. Oh, no, the bugs are awake. Run, run, run. All 
Alright, so now it's indoors and temperature should be climbing. Uh-oh. Uh, it's too hot. Darn. Alright, Agnew, it's time to expand our cooler. So we have a lot of stuff spoiling. That's not good. I thought two would be enough, but oh god, yeah, this is the great big die-off here, or whatever. Can I remove the door to the butchery? Uh, this one? Or this one? I'm not sure which. What I could do is I could just forbid the southern, southern one. And that will stop it being a throughway. New recruit. Proto Eden recruits Peter. Alright, well, let me get over to Nightbot here. And let's roll it. Power Music 2. This is you. Alright, awesome. I'm going to just name you uh, Power Music. Psychic Lance, just in case. I like it. Thanks. Go to the wall. Alright. Uh, the other issue I'm going to have is, of course, I really didn't lay out my uh, base for a big population growth. So, we're going to have to add people to that. Um... Actually, let's see here. I could use this center space. That will be the next bedroom. Maybe I should just queue up for the next bedroom, too. Because it's inevitable, I would say. I don't know about that fog man, but the other bedrooms, uh, yeah. So, planning this one. That's that bedroom there. I can change the door around, haul this junk out, and then that becomes the airlock. I'm probably going to have to start a new complex if I continue any f more of this. Alright, power music. As a pawn, you are, what, chemical interest and nervous? Incapable of firefighting? Let's cue... Okay, so you won't firefight. Ah, uh, you're a bit of a doctor. You're a decent warden. Looks good. Live and cool, you're almost at the expo. 11 days left on the clock there. Uh-oh, just built myself into a corner here. Um, yes, so the entrance to this is going to have to be changed a little bit. Uh, we're going to have a hallway that looks like this. And put the entrance here. Labyrinth Cool got some science -y experience from the uh, the expo. Oh, and he's in mobile. Because he got an infant chem reactor. Uh, I'm going to ditch that because I have two days of food. Ooh. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Proto, you want to go help him haul it home? Or who's fast? Heikal, Kadath. Kadath, you're fast. You could help haul it home. Yeah, I'm going to send Kadath out there. And Kadath, you're going to have to bring food, which inevitably going to spoil. So what's going to be terrible is 
I'm gonna have to send you with some raw rice, because I really don't have any other options. How did Agnew get out of that? I'm really confused as actually, how did Agnew get out? Well, I don't know. Alright, so that's some pemmican. Um, but Kadath was already leaving the tile. I'm not going to have him turn around for it. Uh, some Blight. Oh, someone saved up for some Blight. So the Pemmican came from Derry Thog, and Blight came from Hesno. Alright. Well, sometimes the gifts... That's a lot of Blight. That's an excessive amount of Blight. Usually it's not so large. Alright, let's go ahead and plant cut is top priority. Cancel everybody's plans for the day, because we are going to be Blight cutting. I think, uh, given the amount of um, geothermal I have, hydroponics would be a really good investment. Because we definitely have the power grid for it. Refugee may or may not work. I'm not exactly sure exactly what will work. I wish I knew. But it's it, these things sometimes are hard to test. Well, that's most of the crops. Not most, but quite a quite a number. All right, changing some priorities around. Oh, that was supposed to be a door. Oops. That could stay. Death, you have six days of food? Yeah, that should be enough. Oof. Well, we'll, we'll see. Tricky conundrum, you know? Trait. Power music is a quick sleeper now. Sweet. And then you heat stroke collapsed. Not so sweet. These additional bedrooms might require some additional cooling, uh, but we might want to start the cooling from some other corner of the room, because or the whatever uh, facility, because right now it's uh, all coming from one side. So the inside here is pretty hot, but it's not quite hot enough to harm a mega spider. It's just toasty. It's also probably making these coolers less efficient. Trait purchased of beautiful. Oh, you guys are really going for the beauty, huh? Did our only chef leave? Yes, it did. We can fix that. I am rocking on the uptime here. Alright, well, I guess we'll... Bring it to a close. Uh, usually what I do is I stick around after the uh, episode and answer any questions that you have. And if you have suggestions for price differences, obviously there's a lot of raids to fix. I'll have to do that as well. Uh, stick around and let me know and I'll be chatting with you all. Thank you all so very much for turning out for this. I really, really appreciate it. And if there's anything that you'd like to see in this series, just let me know. I'm usually pretty amenable to changes. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all next Wednesday or Saturday and Sunday if you're down for Survive the Pantheon or Survive the Swarm. Adios, and thanks for watching.